Happy Sunday guys, it's Mel. So I wanted to share with you just a little, um, a little Simon Says stamp. I can't get my thoughts together. We've been up, I did a double yesterday and then I had to get up so early. My husband had, he plays on like a football league and then my um, daughter plays for, a bas plays basketball and they have a game both at the same time at 8.30 in the morning on a Sunday. So, um, and my head is pounding. I am just rough, so I put Tally in for a nap, we're home wrestling a little bit, and then we have to go back out, we're actually going to Ikea, which isn't this cute, I had this in my hand, I wanted to show you, um, it was like a double, like a two pack thing, and I got some really cute things at Ikea, I went with my mom for, um, we initially were going to get my, for my sister, my little sister's getting married soon in March, and um, she wanted a couple things to go down the aisle, and she got these like gonna sound ugly but those like lantern things that you could put a candle in so um to go up the aisle so we had to buy like I don't know 10 for each side and then we had to go back and get candles because we got the size candle we got we think it's too big and we don't want the flame too close to the top so we have to take them back but um my daughters love to go to Ikea because you can go and you can go eat and they can get ice cream at the end they, they think it's fun like what kids want to go to a furniture store but mine do so I'm not arguing well tell you it's bad tell you it's bad the whole time throughout there but Maya loves it but Maya's usually good everywhere she goes. So anyway, um, so I'm heading there in a little bit, but I'm trying to have Talia nap before we go and run back with my mom because I help her too get all, we do the count and um, we went there too for that. And I have to upload that video, but it's on my other camera. Um, but um, I had the video of the wine glasses that I made for Caitlin's shower, my little sister's shower. So I wanted to show the finished project because I was kind of showing you guys an idea of what I was going to do. I wanted to show you them all in person so as soon as I find my little flip camera I'll look, upload them on there but now I've been just using my MacBook so let's get back to what this video is on minus my chatting um, so I got um, a little Simon Says stamp order so you probably after this there might not be um, I use a lot of my Christmas gift cards um, which is good because I got things that I wanted um, but I have a few I have a few more so but this will probably be this, and I have like a miscellaneous haul, but I have to get that together. I got some cool dyes um, from the scrapyard, um, but I'm waiting until like there's a lot, and then I try to show you at once, so there's not a million different mini videos. So I got a bunch of things from Simon Says Stamp, um, and I don't know how this worked out because I'm sitting, I'm waiting, I'm like, where's my order? And Simon Says Stamp has gotten so much better at their shipping. Um, which I really appreciate because before, it, I don't know if it was just me, but it used to take forever, in my opinion, for them to get stuff like even shipped out. It wasn't that it took long during the mail, it was just their pack, I like, guess, for them to package up and ship it out or whatever. So, um, hopefully, I'm not showing my address on here, but I used their little card from last time, although, sorry, I don't have a coupon code to share with you because I always share it with you guys on here when I come on. Um, but it looks like there's no code. And sometimes they do it, like they do one every other month. But it was only five dollars off anyway. And then there was like save seven ninety nine if you spent seventy nine dollars. And I wasn't close to that, but um, it wasn't really worth it anyway. Because then you still have to pay the six ninety nine shipping. So anyway, I used my little five dollar off. So I'll start with these. I'll have to let them know because they got these got bent a little bit and I tried to like fix them. But I like this little um, this little collection here. It is um, by Doodlebug Designs. It's their Polar Pals. Um, I didn't get the they have like a six by six paper pad. They have a little card kit. But I love the like little little Eskimo girls and I don't I always love these little like lashes when their eyes are closed. I just uh, automatically I love anything like that. But like their little faces and the little boy Eskimo and then this looks like my little sister's husky dog. Um, and little penguins, a walrus, snowman, and an igloo, stuff like that. A little ice patch and a bunch of snowflakes. And I, of course I like the colors. Those are the colors attract me in this little winter thing down here. So that was really cool. And this was only $1.99. But um, you can't really tell on camera. But a lot of them are bent and like scratched up. They got dented on there. But I mean I could still use them. I probably won't even end up calling but that was $1.99. Um, then I got, not that this is fun, but I got another one of these, but this was so cheap that I got, um, I ordered it this time too. And to be honest, I haven't even used it, but um, I saw Jennifer McGuire loved it. Multi-medium, wait, is this the wrong thing? 
Hey guys, it's Mel. I'm not sure if I'm able to add this, so if you're watching the one before this, if I was able to somehow mash it, I still have to learn that. Um, but I got cut off because I dropped my, my multi-matte medium and it messed up. So I'm, I'll start over from the beginning real quick. But basically, I am sharing with you um, my Simon Says Stamp little haul that I got here. And... Um, what was I talking about? Oh, we're getting ready to go to Ikea. I shared this. I showed this little um, candle thing we got there. Um, my mom's, we're, I'm going to go with my mom. We went for my little sister for her wedding stuff. So my daughter's napping now because I'm hoping to refresh her because she was a little bad. We had my daughter, my husband plays for an adult football league and my daughter, uh, my older daughter, Maya, she plays basketball and she had a game at 830 this morning. They both had their games at the same time. Um, so we were up early from that and tell you it was of course climbing on the bleachers up the stands like um, so she's napping and I'm hoping she like regroups by the time we get back there so anyway let's just get into my Simon Says Stan Paul so sorry if this is a repeat but I didn't really get to show you much anyway so um, first I got where did it go oh here it is I got um, these stickers that got a little bent but you know they'll be okay but this is by the Polar Pals by Jewel Bug Design. Um, I love anything. I said this in another video, so I don't know if it's going to match. But I love anything with these little eyelashes. And this looks like my little sister's husky dog. And it has a little winter thing in there. So they were cute. So I got those. I didn't get that. They have paper pads and all stuff like that. But I didn't get all that. So I got that. And then I got this, which I've been wanting. And it's not going to look like much on here. But this is called the Tiny Space um, six by six stencil. It's a Simon Says Stamp exclusive, but I love these little hearts and this is what kind of got me onto the texture paste in the first place. I saw a video or somebody, um, somebody mixed their embossing paste with a little bit of like re-anchor and it was pink and they put it on. I just love these little hearts. I've seen different stencils, but the tininess of these hearts is what I really like. So I'm excited to use that. So you could do it with ink, you know, you could do like you would, would any other stencil with ink or tech, you don't have to do texture paste. So I got that and I got the stickers. Then I got, um, these were only 99 cents, but I thought they would be smaller because um, I kind of have something like this and I don't really care for the fact that they have a little hole in the center of them um, but I guess that's why they're sequins, considered sequins but they were 99 cents so I got them but eh, I could did without them and I think my AC Miller Michaels has them but you know it's hard to see online what it is then I got another one of these and I started to say this in the other video multi multi-medium gloss this is not what I wanted I think I wanted multi matte medium um, so I think this is shiny one, but I haven't even got to use the other one for gluing, transfers, or sealing, acid free. So I don't know. Yeah, gloss me ideal for gluing, see, creating glaze and dries clear. So the other one, I just wanted it because it was matte. So I don't know if this is the same as glossy accents, although it looks different, but oh well, I'm sure I'll use it. Um, then I got this cute little stamp here. Um, this I don't usually like to pay this much for stamps. Like I like to get them secondhand or whatever on um, <clears throat> the scrapyard or whatever. But I got this one, which is um, by Simon Says Stamp. I think this was like fourteen ninety nine. Um, but for this little bit of stamps, I think that's a lot. But um, I think this is one that I'd use a lot, and I really like the font. And I've been thinking about and thinking about, so I finally used my um, gift card that I had for it so um it says sending big hugs thank you you are awesome that's a cool one that's long um, missing you always and happy birthday and i like how they're even though they're scripty they're kind of bold that i think these would look so good with um like heat embossed with either gold or silver embossing powder or any color really um any type of shiny one too metallic-y so i got that one and again that's called big script big scripty greetings at sign of stamps so that was the main reason i ordered and because I had a, um, I had a coupon. And then I got this really cute Penny Black stamp. And this is by Mo Manning. And I really like her as an artist. So here's the back picture of it. Isn't it so cute? And then I, I was picturing red rubber because I have another one from her. But this one's clear. And that's a, like, pretty decent size. And this was $7.99. Some of her stamps are, like, $15.99. And, but I just love the sketchy look of it. And I love, you know, just the cuteness. So I thought for Valentine's Day that would be a cute card to make for my hubby. So I really like that one and the little girl with her pigtails. So it's called Summer Love. They had a few other ones, but I, I didn't really care for them as much. So I got that one. Then I saw 
these. I wanted some. I wanted some chunky clear glitter, so I got um, these are Tim Holtz Distress Glitter Clear Rock Candy, and it's really cool. And I saw like I know these are older. It says add a touch of sparkle to your project. So I hope I don't dump it out because I already opened it to show you. Maybe I could. Sh but I just like the texture of it. Like there's um, little ones, big ones, like some fine and some like a little bit chunkier. So just to add like with a little bit of your zig glue pen, just to like, you know, like say you're doing an Eskimos hat and you have, you know, the round just to make it look like snow. So I thought that would be cute. And it came in this little jar. So let me see if I can show you. No, there's not a naked side or maybe from the bottom what it looks like. Can't really sell it too tell too much in there. Then I saw these and they were on clearance for like three dollars or something regular either $9.99 or up. Um and I think that let me see. Yeah. And then so I got these. Um they had two different kinds but these were the ones that were on sale which is good because these are the ones I like. And I think it, it says mod sunglasses so I think it means modern sunglasses or I don't know if that's what it means. But how cute are these and they were like three bucks and they're, they're like a decent size so um, it was hard to tell again online, but look look at the size of them. So I love these heart glasses So I think these would be cut out really cute with red glitter paper or you know pink glitter paper for Valentine's Day um, And you could you know stamp a cute little I got my eyes on you or some type of little image uh, I mean sentiment then there's this like octagon is that an octagon octagon one But they are like a decent size that they're not I thought they would be teeny 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 tiny So again, it's hard to gauge. So I thought they would be fun little guys and that was my little Simon Says stamp haul, so I gotta get ready to go to um, Ikea and um, finish cooking and stuff before my husband's on night work, so I try to like make them something to take to work with them. But really quick, let me show you over here. I have to cover this up just because I have to get up and it's gonna make you dizzy. I just wanna show you, and hopefully you can see. Um, here we go. Um, my little display. Um, I have to Windex this, you know, awful frame, but um here is i use it this is scrapbook paper i showed you i don't know if you guys remember in my hobby lobby haul um and this was like the designer paper and there was like the it was 50 percent off so it was like 99 cents for this so i just had this old scrapbook frame we had something in it in our room and i just put it in just to see in my little stand and i have it on my little like half moon table here but um i just thought that was cute my husband said are we hunters now because <laughs> we don't do any hunting or anything i said i don't know i just like it so um just wanted to share that with you how you could just frame a piece of scrapbook paper and you could make it into your you know home decor so just wanted to show you guys that and um let me see where are we at and um i will talk to you all soon bye